Behind me here is the May Pass Ancient Road. For over a thousand years, it was the main route linking Xiaoguan and Lingnan in the south with the rest of China in the north. And the man behind the creation of this road is somewhat of a legend around these parts. So today, I'm in Xiaoguan to find out what his story is. But this legendary figure, known as Zhang Jiuling, is still somewhat of a mystery to me. So, I'll be meeting with a professor who specializes in the subject to get a better idea of what Zhang Jiuling and Jiuling culture is all about. Zhang九林聚集民力,开凿之后,成为一条空脏大道,它可以跟中原来沟通,加速你难的农业啊,经济啊,社会的发展。那我听说张九龄在风度这方面也是很有名的。张九龄他是一个著名的诗人，那么他的五言诗当时的人的学习，后代的人的呃学习影响人和化育人，这就是张九龄的文学风度。他的风度还表现他的政治操守方面，从来
他一直以来在我们韶关都有很深的影响。当时是因为我们推这个书房的建设，所以我们就想到要给书房弄一个 IP， 用一系列的这种文化氛围的东西来巩固它。这个形象叫做九龄童，它有两个意义，嗯、一个是张九龄的九龄、哦，另外一个是九岁的儿童。希望把我们的这些孩子到我们的阅读氛围中，哦、就是来跟我们一起。贵州采取这么一个卡通风格。对,对的，对的。Tea cups, ooh, notebook. All right, so I got the Jiuling orange notebook now. You see, I'm real cute there, winking and everything. And I will be needing this when I get back to Beijing and have to write the script for this video. This is coming handy. It's been over a thousand years since Zhang Jiuling has passed. His legacy of integrity, diligence, and desire to learn still lives on to this day, and many people in Shaoguan. Still see him as a role model in their own lives. I'm in Shaoguan. Stay tuned with China Matters.